guys and welcome back to Reading Club. Today I'm going to read you a new book. It's called Franny K. Stein, Mad Scientist, The Fran with Four Brains. It's the same Franny K. Stein series and today I'm going to read you chapter one to chapter four. Chapter one, the Stein family, oh, sorry, chapter one, Franny's house. The Stein family lived in the pretty pink house with lovely purple shutters down at the end of Daffodil Street. Everything about the house was bright and cheery. Everything, that is, except the upstairs bedroom with the tiny round window. The window looked in on a bedroom where one of the busiest mad scientists on Earth was working away to keep all of her projects and experiments on schedule. She had a colony of bearded slugs that needed to be shaved each morning. She had a giant centipede, centipede that needed help with her shoes every day. She had her own breed of soy plant that had to be milked daily. Franny's lab projects were a lot of work, but Franny truly loved mad science, so she never minded putting in the time. Chapter 2, Franny's School. Franny also liked school. Her teacher, Miss Shelley, was great, and she always kept the kids busy with lots of challenging projects. Already that year, they had spent time studying dinosaurs, poetry, and even ancient Egypt, which Franny really enjoyed. Even though her extra credit project ate a custodian. Miss Shelley later made Franny unzip the mummy and released the custodian unharmed. Although Franny protested and said that everybody knows mummies eat people every once in a while and that custodians should know better than to get too close. Great teachers like Miss Shelley always kept a little pr always keep a little pressure on and every day after school Franny had to make time for her homework. Some days it was easy, like when it was about electricity, organs, or strange chemical reactions. Some days it was hard, like when it was not about monsters, or automatic radiation, or electronic brains. But no matter how long it took, Franny also had to make time to play with her lab assistant, Igor. He wasn't a pure lab. He was also part poodle, part chihuahua, part beagle, part spaniel, part shepherd, and part some kind of weasley thing that wasn't even exactly a dog. Franny had learned that not paying enough attention to Igor, not paying enough attention to Igor was dangerous. When he got too lonely, he tended to misbehave. And Igor knew when Franny needed attention. He was really good at sensing when her schedule was getting too tight, and he was always trying to figure out ways to make her laugh. Sometimes it was juggling chainsaw, sometimes it was alligator wrestling, sometimes it was wrestling alligators with chainsaws. Recently, he started dressing up for Franny and imitating her, and that would always make Franny laugh so hard she could hardly breathe. Always that ex except when Franny felt overwhelmed by the additional load of her extra activities. Chapter 3. Getting Weaker by the Week Franny's mom always drove her to her weekly extra activities. One day a week, it was soccer. Another day, it was gourmet cooking. And another day, it was bagpipe lessons. Franny liked the extra activities, but sometimes she felt like they were a bit too much. Some days she was in a mood to just hang around her lap doing regular, ki regular kid things, like playing with her toys or reading books, or bringing a monster to life through the application of a jillion volts of electricity. But her mom wanted Franny to have the op opportunity to be the best she could be, and try new things and learn about stuff they might not be teaching at school. Franny's mom had told her that it was important to do her best and always strive for excellence. 
Franny understood that her mom was right, and she worked as hard as she could had hard as she could to be excellent, even when it made her very, very tired. Chapter four Wound Too Tight One day Franny walked up the stairs to her room after a long day at school, followed by bagpipe lessons. She had a lot of homework ahead of her and knew she had forgotten to take care of some of the lab stuff earlier that morning. Her thoughts were scattered. She was thinking about everything all at once. She went over to the centipede's cage and milked it. Then she shaved the soy plants and put shoes on the slugs. She gave Monster a bowl of dog food and was just preparing to run a zillion volts of electricity through Igor before she realized that she had gotten everything all mixed up. Oh no, she groaned, it's too much, she said. That kind of electricity would have fired you like a potato chip, Igor. I wound up too tight to think clearly. I have to talk to Mom. The next day, Fanny told her mom about the next steps in the laboratory. Eagle could have been vaporized. The soy plant is mad because it was really trying to grow a mustache. The slugs are after me to make them some feet to go with their new shoes. And who in their right mind is ever going to drink two gallons of centipede milk? Mom, I think this all happened because I'm too I'm so busy. Do you think it'd be okay if I took a break from the bagpipe lesson for a while? But Franny, her mom said, how else will you learn? The bagpipe is a beautiful instrument, and music teaches you self control and how to perform with confidence. Okay, Franny said with a sign. Then how about if we skip the gourmet cooking class? Oh, Franny, her mom said, gourmet cooking teaches you how to follow directions and thinking up all those exotic recipes simulates your imagination. Okay, okay, but how about if I drop soccer? I really don't think I need soccer, do you? Franny, sports teaches you about teamwork. You should learn how to sacrifice for others and how to rely on others as well. That's what it means to be part of a team. And since you do so many of your experiments by yourself, you probably need to learn teamwork more than anybody else. You must strive for excellence, Franny. You know that. Franny smiled. A thought had occurred to her. A mad science type thought. There was something about the word teamwork. Yes, teamwork. She thought maybe mom had something here. Something there. That's the end of this channel. If you liked it, please click many likes and subscribe reading club. I'll come back later with a new and improved channel. Bye, everybody.